Best Bet Live, hand of the week. Hey, what's up, guys? Dustin Shacklock here for Best Bet Live, coming your way with a very special edition of Hand of the Week. Uh, today, I've got my good friend John O'Neill joining me in the booth. For those of you guys that don't know, John O'Neill is a high-stakes cash game pro. So uh, John's going to walk us through this hand. This hand took place in a recent 5-10 game that eventually became, what, like a 5-10, 25-50, 100 game. You can see John right there in the seventh seat. He was in the game. So uh, John had a front row seat to all the action, and he's going to take us through a couple of spots in this hand. And uh, we're going to get a quick insight into the mind of a high-stakes crusher. So, uh, John, walk us through the hand. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John O, and I'm going to be taking you through this hand in this 5-10-25 game. In this hand, there's a restarted of 50 and a restarted to 100. Don, makes it Don opens for 300 with pocket fives. Sean smooth calls with pocket queens. George makes a call with pocket eights. Paul has jack-10 suited. He's going to make the call for 300. Comes around to Russ, who originally straddled for a 100. He picks up pocket nines. It's a lot of dead money out there. He's going to squeeze it to 2100. That's going to bring it back to Don, who only started his hand with about $3,000. I mean, if he gets it in, he's just going to have to jam and hope that they're flipping. But the right move is to probably just fold it. He's going to think about it for a little bit, think about what he wants to do. Eventually, he's just going to let this hand go. Sean just smooth called with queens. I'm thinking this is a great spot for him to back raise to confuse Russ. Russ will also make very loose calls if he doesn't think you have it. Um, surprisingly, Sean just flat it for 2100 Comes back to George. He has pocket eights. There are very deep stacks out there. So he's hoping to just set mine and spike an eight. Paul has Jack-10 suited. He only starts with about 6,000 and would have to call like one-third of his stack here. It always feels dirty when you have to fold a hand like Jack-10 suited. He just takes the less variance route and just folds it, just praying that he does not hit this board. And off to the flop we go. Three ways. There's about 7,000 in the middle already. Still some very deep stacks. Russ just spikes top set on the flop, but there is three hearts out there. George checks with pocket eights. He pretty much just whiffs here. Sean has queens, but no heart. So he, interesting to see what he's going to do this hand. Russ is going to lead 5,000 here. Puts Sean in a weird spot. Sean's hand is so underrepped here that I would probably still get it in. I mean, if Russ has just the ace of hearts if he has ace king or ace jack with just the ace of hearts maybe even the king of hearts russ would bet here sean thinks about it it's a hard call to make when you have no heart me personally i probably still would have jammed if i ever did just flat pre-flop and there he goes he makes the fold comes back around to george and i would think that this would just be a snap fold from george but surprisingly, he thinks about it and he makes the call. And then comes turn is a queen. Sean is disgusted at this point because he would have turned a top set. Russ now jams for 15,000. And now George is not really sure what to do. This is why I think he should have just folded on the flop. There's no real good turn cards for him except for an eight. Russ could have hands like ace king with the ace of hearts and ace queen with the ace of hearts and maybe ace jack off with the ace of hearts those are the hands that george can beat but with the queen on the turn now he can't beat ace queen anymore he can really only beat ace king and ace jack off with the ace of hearts maybe ace king with the king of hearts uh we're gonna go george is gonna tank for about two and a half minutes here we're gonna go ahead and fast forward this to about where he gonna make the call. He's going to make a crazy call here and he's disgusted. About right here, he counts out 15,000. He makes the call here. He gets the bad news from Russ, seeing that he's drawing stone dead. 
I mean, we could have gave him the deck. He could have picked his own card out of the deck and still couldn't have won. And right now, he is going to be raging the game. This is when the game gets very good, and there's going to be a lot of more interesting hands after this. When George is on tilt, the game gets crazy, very entertaining. And see you all next time. All right, there you have it, guys. True cash game insight from a high-stakes professional. I want to say thank you very much to my good friend John O'Neill for joining us in the booth today to uh, walk us through that wild hand. Um, you guys make sure to like, follow, subscribe on all the platforms, and we'll be back soon with more Hand of the Week. Live stream. Watch us play.